All right, y'all, we off to the port this morning. We got a load. I'm actually going with a buddy of mine up to uh, Selma, Alabama. So right now, what we're gonna do, it's Saturday. We're just gonna go pick up our container. And uh, yeah, it's about it. I'm gonna take you guys along. Hopefully you guys can also see how empty the port is. chassis is good it is a 40 now the only thing you want to check for is the tires now see look at this this one's okay and these are chassis tires the thing is is you want steer tires because chassis tires normally tend to blow a lot faster so yeah, I think we're gonna have to pass on this one. I'm just gonna have to find another one. But 
Now you can definitely tell the difference between the steer tires, steer tires, and the uh, the chassis tires. See, look at the grooves in those, and you saw the grooves in the other one. Now this would be a decent one. Yeah, the tires are good on this one. They're a little eating up on this, but I think it should be all right. We're only going empty up, and then we're gonna go load it down. So. So yeah, I think we're just gonna go ahead and grab this one. Just like that, we connected. All I gotta do is put this landing gear up, and we're ready to roll. Waiting on my buddy to get here and we'll be off. Everything's connected. Did my tug test. Here, all that. Alright, we're back. Of course, looking pretty empty. Take up two spots, nice. Here we go. All right, y'all, we are done for the day. We finally changed the oil in the truck. I changed the fuel filter. And I also finally replaced these lights. I'm gonna turn them off for y'all so y'all can see. But uh, yeah, it was quite a, eventful day uh, let's see utility look at them uh, I don't know how bright they are until uh, 
you know, later on in the night. I'm gonna pop the hood for y'all on these older Detroit motors. They had an older design. And as you can see, it's got some fresh fuel in it. I replaced this whole thing. Um, <clears throat> because the old one, like, see this different design in the cap? So apparently they updated it because the older one had teeth and it would break. So basically this locks like a gas cap. So I replaced that. And we did fresh oil as well. <clears throat> I guess the, the two new filters can uh, comment for that. And um, I don't know if y'all can see it in the oil. I don't know if y'all can see it there, but... But yeah, this whole thing was like 39 bucks, which I definitely needed it because the top piece broke, so I couldn't fill it up. Um, but yeah, so, uh, that's it for today. That's all we really did. Um, yeah. I came back, connected to my trailer. We are leaving tomorrow at 2 in the afternoon headed to alabama so we'll i'll see you guys in the next one hope you guys enjoyed this video um subscribe like comment tell me what you think on the stuff that i did um or just let me know if you need any help with anything i'll be here to help y'all i'll leave my uh email down below i uh, part my truck with my dad's that's where i work on it but uh did all the stuff too i didn't really record it because i was just trying to get it done i do need to turn those off but there's the lights for you But yeah, I didn't really record much. Um, I was just really trying to get it done, as you can see. It kind of got dark. Um, I started at like 12. I had to get that new filter, as you guys can see. Um, but yeah, you know, it's just... Yeah, it worked more efficient, especially my hands were like really dirty from all the... Like the oil and stuff. So, <clears throat> everything that I did is pretty simple. I mean, literally, you guys can do an oil change and a fuel filter change yourself um doesn't even matter if you have a detroit if you have an, an older vehicle i mean not an older but a newer truck like pack car cummins like you can do that stuff yourself um the only thing on the newer trucks is that you have to prime the fuel filter with like a uh, with like an air gun and you fill it with fuel and you like prime it but with these with these older trucks um like mine <coughs> um you basically just put fuel you open that top piece and you just pour fuel in it to like probably like the half mark and then you just turn the truck on and it's ready to rock and roll instead of just you know not putting fuel in it you're just like holding the dang button to trying to get the thing to start and it's just chugging 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 you know for no reason so well yeah i just wanted to give you guys a little update on everything that's going on um i hope you guys have a good one uh, see you guys on the next one peace